Man, it's been a month since the last video. What on earth has Trey been doing? A look into the daily life of Trey. Today we are painting pumpkins. Honestly, it feels like I have something else to do. Like something that I have a weekly dedication to, but nah, it's probably nothing. Yo, what's up everyone? Trayman one here. I know it's been 3,000 years since y'all have heard me say that, but I'm finally back for another review of Pokemon Journeys. Today we are reviewing episode 84, Ash Gains, the Lucario Knight, and the Keystone. I know I haven't been reviewing Journeys or making videos like I should have been, but I can't even lie, there's been a month where it's like Journeys just wasn't hitting as much. Like, the Opal episode, it was like, eh. The recent Cynthia one, I, I love Cynthia's appearance. And I love that they did a sad story, but even that one was still kind of eh for me. It's just, I don't know, it's just going through a little bit something with Journeys. But this episode has got me back into the groove, so let's go ahead and get right into my thoughts. The episode actually took me for a surprise in the beginning because we see Karina maybe evolving her Lucario in her gym. And I'm like, wait, are we seeing a flashback to her fight against Ash in X and Y? That would have been a really cool scene. But no, it's actually a new scene. She's fighting a trainer with a Kulidin, and she sweeps this guy. She did not even need to make it evolve to beat this trainer. But obviously, you know, as a gym leader, you're going to go all out. So it makes sense. Here we get to see that Ash is watching the fight, and then he mentions to Karina that he's came because he's trying to get a Keystone, and he wants to get a Mega Lucario. Now... This scene, a lot of people, you know, they're okay with because, you know, Ash is in the hyper class, so obviously he wants to have some things to keep him good. But at the same time, I wish it was done a little bit differently. As we know, at the end of the episode, we get to see that Ash is going to be fighting ESB, who is ranked 30, lower than Vogner, surprisingly. But how I would have done this, I would have had Ash in the beginning of the episode maybe get the announcement that this fight with B is coming, and then he decides, okay, let's go get the stone because, as we know, with the Vogler fight, we got the announcement and then Ash got serious. I'm assuming that he went and do some training before that fight. So that's how I would have preferred it to happen. But this was still cool as well. But following that scene, Karina does give him one. And the gloves are back. Everyone's so excited for that. And I'm just sitting here thinking that's all he did need to do was ask. Like, a lot of people want Ash to get Mega Evolution back in X and Y, which obviously we know why he didn't because of Greninja. Okay. But also, I'll be thinking, like, she could have just given him one back then for real. But... I'm not going to overthink it. This journey, this is a new series. You know, they had a different plan back then, but all that matters is that he has it now. And this causes Lucario to sense where the Keystone or the Mega Stone is, and that's on Mega Island, which I almost got a Karina's case for us, because if you knew about Mega Island, why didn't you just go there to get yours? But they say it was like recently found, so they are retracing their steps, not confusing things for the viewers. The rest of this episode takes place of them on Mega Island looking for the stone. And I got to mention this thing real quick. Both Flygon and Dragonite appear in this episode, if y'all didn't know, I know Flygon, for a fact, was supposed to have a mega. They just couldn't think of an idea. And I think Dragonite was as well, because I remember there was this interview where someone was asking, you know, is Dragonite going to mega? Then they said, you know, we got some special plan for Dragonite in the next generation, but that never happened. So I assume Dragonite and Flygon were supposed to get a megas, and I feel like them, their appearance in this episode was to kind of reference that. You know, these Pokemon were supposed to get megas as well, but that didn't end up happening. In my opinion, the best parts of this episode had to be when Ash and Lucario were separated and using their aura to find each other because this scene was pretty cool they was using the aura to find each other at first then they ended up finding the keystone together which i think that's pretty amazing obviously you know they're gonna have some things go on later down the line with ash and lucario in their aura like yes yeah, a mega lucario but i feel like they're gonna do something even bigger where it's like an aura powered mega lucario or something like that where they go even further beyond something special that only ash and his lucario kind of like how ash and greninja had battle bond and while the build up to finding the stone was great, the payoff of them getting the stone is where the episode flops in my opinion. Gurkin appears in the disguise and challenges Ash to a battle to get the stone. This is a great idea because when Karina had to get her stone, Gurkin also stepped in with his Mega Blaziken, well it wasn't a Mega Blaziken, but his Blaziken, and they had to fight it off. Karina went through it to fight this Blaziken. Lucario was getting swung around, thrown around. She had to learn to work with Lucario to try and figure a way out to beat this Blaziken. Along with, you know, her picture getting ripped. That fight had so many stakes. It was so amazing. But this fight with Gherkin today, it was such a disappointment. So, you know, it started off with a couple moves at first. You know, Ashley's aura sphere. It's mostly him trying to hop over the Alakazam to try and get the stone. The Alakazam just kind of knocks him back a little bit. It gets paralyzed, which that does kind of leave some suspense. But Gherkin's not really attacking. He's just kind of sitting there watching him. 
as Ash just tries to get up and he's dealing with the paralyzation. I would have loved if Gherkin went all in like how he did with Karina, making it hard for Ash to try and get the stone so that when he did get it in the end, it felt more deserving. Nope, he just grabs the beard, pulls him down, and then grabs the stone. When Blaze and Ken fought Karina's Lucario, Gherkin had to literally step in and stop the fight because Karina was going to go all in and defeat and destroy this thing. Like, I remember all the bone rushes and she was like, keep going. And he had to stop it like that. They were going all in. That was a full on fight. So it's really disappointing to see how this fight went down. And it just kind of makes the Mega Stone, at least, doesn't feel too deserving as much as Karina did. Karina went through so much more, which, to be fair, that was more of an arc too, a five episode arc. This is an episodic series. So... That's why it suffers. That's why they couldn't really do as much, unfortunately. But I'll give them some credit for trying. There's a couple of seasons in this episode as well that makes me think back to episode 25 and actually wish that Karina did win that fight once again. Like, I always thought that she should have won that fight. But here, like, this is the stuff I was talking about back before. Like, it doesn't make sense story-wise or why Lucario would be looking up to Mega Lucario or why he would want to get Mega Lucario himself when Dragonite can easily take it out. As we see, you know, Lucario is admiring Karina's Lucario, obviously, as it did before. It has flashbacks to when it fought Dragonite, but don't forget, Karina's Lucario lost that fight. So what's the big deal? Like, they're trying to make Mega Lucario seem like the ace of the team, but Dragonite is definitely the strongest. Dragonite took out a Mega Lucario already. Dragonite took out the champion of the universe Pokemon. So I don't know. I don't, I don't really like that. Like, yeah, it's cool. But at the same time, it's like, I don't know. It's a, it's a big back and forth. Like, literally, Karina lost to Bia, which when she sees the Ashes battling Bia, she does get, like, kind of scared, I guess you could say, or, like, surprised. So Karina knows, you know, not even Mega Lucario could be Bia. So, yeah, they're going to do the thing where Ash is going to be stronger than Karina's Lucario, and he's going to come out on top. But I don't know. I, I feel like they should have did this a lot differently. But at the end of the day, I will admit, I'm glad that we are witnessing Ultimate Ash in this series. First, the Pikachu UMZ, now Mega Lucario, and soon to be Gigantamax Gengar. I'm loving this lineup so much. I can't wait to see him use these in future battles, especially in the fight against Leon. That fight, if he uses all three of these in that fight, that's going to be an amazing battle in the series, no doubt. My overall rate for this episode is about a solid 6 out of 10. This episode, if you look at this compared to how Karina went through to get her Mega Lucario, this does not compare. Ash was handed this way too easily. And, you know, Mega Evolution is a big thing. I feel like it kind of devalued Mega Evolution a little bit. Obviously, you know, the fight against Bio will probably save this episode or save Mega Evolution. But for the way that Ash was just given the Keystone, which that's not too big of a problem, and kind of given the Mega Stone as well, yeah, he did have to search for it, which I do love those scenes. Like I said before, those are the best scenes when him and Lucario were split looking for it. But the fight with Gherkin, Gherkin... And th that was just a real big disappointment. And that's like the biggest thing about this episode. That was like the thing that really should have brought Ash and Lucario together more. And really, I don't know. It's, it's, it's very, it's just not hitting in my opinion. But in the comment section down below, let me know what y'all thought of this episode. I'm very, very excited for the rematch against Bia. Because it's been way too long since we've seen her character. And I don't know how I feel. Personally, I, I'm not big on Ash winning in the fight against Bia. Because... I, it would be cool if he gets this mega, he loses, and you know, he's like that just shows that him getting the mega wasn't enough. But with how the trailers is looking and stuff, he's gonna win, so no doubt about it. It's still gonna be a good fight, plus, it's a two parter. They wouldn't do a two parter if Ash was gonna lose. So, thank you all for watching. I hope y'all enjoy. I'm, I'm glad to be back. Hopefully, you know, you know, we will keep it, the train rolling, more videos to come, and 10k before the year's up. Trade Man One, peace out.